Yo, what's happening guys? It's your boy Madman, welcome you back to my channel. Today's video is the patch notes for the legacy update, the bus and nurse and what we are to expect. So if you do like the video, please don't forget to leave a like on it. It helps the channel. Hit that subscription button. So close to 50 subscribers. I know it's so little, but it means a lot to me. And hopefully you enjoy the video. Let's get into it. So guys, this is the legacy update patch notes. The, this is the dev stream, but we'll just carry on with that. Skip on past that. Arenas. The game is undergoing the introduction of a new permanent mode, Arenas. Fully reassembled and unimpressed with the glitz and glamour of the Apex games. Former Apex Predator Ash is taking the competitive back to its roots, a pure form of combat. We've already really covered this, so I'll quickly skim over it. It's a 3 three versus 3. Eliminate your opponents to win the round. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. You win, you die. Uh, Arena's features is a new set of custom maps tailor made for close combat with no more. Uh, with more to come in the future. Okay. Squads start at each round in the spawn room. Uh, they can buy weapons, gear, and abilities just to suit their strategy. Uh, each round, you can change your strategy. The first team to win three rounds with at least a two point lead will be crowned the victor. Unless they battle for a 4-4 tie, then you'll have the honour of participating in a sudden death mode to win the last round. Party Crasher, the new map for the arena mode. It's one of the exciting custom arenas where you're able to show off your skills. This arena takes place in a ritzy downtown plaza where players can choose to engage on the Crash Mirage Voyage or implement Three story buildings that make up the downtown. Stay vigilant at this map. Post a Ferrari of engagement distances, both close and long distance. Then we've got Phase Runner. This is the more open sort of map. In the second of our custom arenas, our largest, you'll fight in a hidden experimental zone at the peak of the mountain where the prototype Phase Runner is ready to use. This map gives you a lot of space to maneuver, so be sure to be on the lookout for those who prefer. A patient and take you out from afar. Sounds, uh, sound tactics and clear communications are what you'll need to come out on top as you fight through the construction site or, or near the phase runner exit. Then this is the three. In addition to the new maps, our other areas from the battle royale will be thrown into a bi-weekly rotation giving you five maps in total. So, That'll be good, that'll keep you on your toes. Then what we've got, we've got artillery from King's Canyon, Thermal Station from World's Edge and Golden Gardens from Olympus. Valkyrie, I'll kick, quickly skip over her because we learnt about her abilities there in the last video I put up on the channel. VTOL Jets is her passive. Tactical is Missile Swarm and Ultimate is a Skyward Dive and she's in the class recon so she's able to do survey beacons. And get the next circles location. Bocek is a new weapon, and it is pronounced Bocek. The combine bow is a precision marksman rifle, uh, marksman weapon that rewards the skilled and confident hand holding down the fire. Will draw the bow over a short time, increasing the power of the shot and maximum power given optimal damage and projectile speeds. Repeatedly firing the Bocek. Right as it reaches its maximum power, but it's the best sustainable damage. Bocek uses a new ammo type, arrows, which are unique to the weapon. Arrows are more are more rare on the battlefield, but fixed arrows will stick into the surfaces and remain in the world for players to pick up and reuse. The one times classic, the one times hollow sight, two times it it chug, one to two times fireball, and the three times optics can be all equipped. The wheel check can also further uh, modify with the two new hop ups entering the game, shatter caps and dead eyes tempo. It can either equip both hop ups simultaneously. Okay, so the, then the update to Olympus. A fleet of mysterious ships have made their way to Olympus and brought them with an otherworldly power assisting plant that has begun to take root along the surface. The lead ship, Darkus, has as dot while the city and change the landscape for good. Fight through the claustrophobic calls of the of the ghost ship 
search corpses for a mysterious key card and walk away as the lost that uh, as the lost squad standing. I can get my words out there. To allow everyone to see the latest map update, Olympus will be the only map in rotation for the first week of the season. Then we've got the starter kits and the loot changes. So players will now start the match with a starter kit consisting of a one Evo shield, uh, level one Evo shield, uh, helmet and knockdown shields, plus two uh, shield cells and syringes. We've removed the level one helmets and knockdown shields from the loot pool. You won't be able to find them on the map anymore. Uh, spawn changes for the level 1 Evo shields in the loot pool have been significantly reduced, so you won't be able to find them as much. Along with that, along with the lowered and removed spawn changes of these items, we've rebalanced the loot pool, such as the higher level versions of these items will now appear nearly the same as they do now, but other items will appear more often, like weapons, health, ammo, and etc. Uh, dev notes, um, we're keeping the level 1 Evo Shields loophole. Finally, granting the pieces of the gear intended to improve the hot drop situation, having more health and some headshot damage reduced, and a little knockdown prevention, uh, protection can help players some uh, give players some more time to react in a chaotic hot drop before. Okay, so it's just to help the players that drop in in a hot spot to survive a wee bit longer. Then we've got unique emotes. Every legend will have one emote unlocked at the lunch, and additional emotes can be obtained through Apex packs or crafting them. Equip them uh, to the emote wheel and flex away. It's great fun to show off to your squad mates at the starting rooms of arenas, or of course, you can use them on the winner's podium. Now, since the emotes kick your camera into a third person view, we know some folks are already thinking about corner peeking, but it'll be inter. Really is still paramount so enemies that so enemies that your character couldn't see in third person will not be shown while in third person okay this video shows the anti peak feature working on the purple dummy behind the rock without it pathfinder will not be able to see the person behind the rock in third person pretty much to gain knowledge that you shouldn't have all mooks will have anti peak enabled so there's no way to disable it there's a quick demonstration of Danny Peak action. Then we got the battle pass, just unique skins for um, Rampart and Wraiths at level 25 and level 50. Low profile characters, low profile no longer exists. This trait has been remo removed from Wraith, Lifeline, and Watson. Um, the dev says after the successful experiment with Wraiths hitboxes, we are now confident that. We can solve balances issues between the smaller and larger legends through the changes to their hitboxes. It's finally time for low profile to go away of the dodo. Okay, so pretty much just extinct. Um, the nurse and boss of the legends now. Combat revive no longer deploys a shield. Now you can revive two players at the same time. Uh, can now cancel active revives in progress to allow your teammate to defend themselves with the knockdown shield. The dock heal drone has increased from 5 to 8 horsepower per second. Deployment time before healing begins is reduced by 33%, so it's not as quick. Care packages, cool line is reduced from 6 minutes to 5 minutes. Now guarantees a permanent, like an upgrade if possible in three categories body shield and other equipments, helmet, backpack, and knockdown shield, and weapon attachments based on your. Team's current gear, so there's always going to be a upgrade possible, if possible, pretty much. The lifelines kit was not particularly healthy. Plays the passive shield was extremely strong to the point of frustration. While her tactical and ultimate seemed that they were becoming more and more obsolete, these changes are aimed to get the big power differential between her abilities and Doc. And care package are more effective while attempting to highly binary the situation combat revive. Then we got Octane. The stem has reduced cooldown from 4 to 1 second, but the increased health cost is from 12 to 20. Then we've got increased bullet spread while well in the air and getting from the launch pad. You're not going to be as accurate if you use your launch pad. Lobas 
Burglar's best friend can now run and slide at full speed while aiming the bra bracelet. Aye, bracelet, and um, while the bracelet is in the air, Loba will no longer be slowed after trans translating. Tran translocating, not translating. And then we fixed a lot of bugs. Uh, the bracelet tosses to fail. Then we got the black market. They increased cooldown from 90 seconds to 120 seconds. Then the horizon, the big nerf. Gravity lift, reduced lift from 30%. Reduced side to side acceleration. Limit the time that you can set at the top of the gravity lift from 2 seconds. Increased the cooldown from 15 to 20. Then Horizon's abilities will now get sapped by Watson's pylons. Horizon is a powerful and popular, but that's not why we're making these changes. We believe that mistakes in Apex Legends should be punishable, and when Horizon can just get herself out of a bad position, and, well, uh, pooping, popping a full battery, this wasn't just true. These changes have two goals make it more possible for enemies to shoot Horizon as she sits at the gravity lift and make the gravity lift less impromptu. Sniper start. Okay. Use the cluster strike. You'll have two stacks of the clusters, the knuckle clusters, but the reduced cooldown from 20, 25 seconds to 20. More help is coming, but we want to be careful that we buff him in the right way. He doesn't just become a legend that kills you with his abilities and not the weapons. Then we got Bangalore Smoke. The smoke is just thickened. Bloodhound no longer receives assist from the eye of the Allfather. Crypto. The crypto's drone is now scanned and open care packages. Can no longer use his drone to hijack a respawn beacon that is ready in use. Then we got the category, the new marksman category. The G7 Scout and the 3030 are currently in the rest old category but I'm guessing it's moving to marksman with the bow check ball we felt that it was a good time to introduce the new weapons a new weapons category the markman rifle so that will include the g7 30 30 triple tech and the bow check weapons in this category are precision precision weapons that are most effective up to medium to long range and sort of in between the assault rifles and snipers this allows us to begin settings of these weapons to towards the more consistent value of their classes and make the settings of the ARs and snipers more consistent. For starters we are increasing the movement speed of the aim, well aiming down of the mark, marksman rifles and they are, are where they were sniper speeds that well now between sniper speeds and AR speeds. Additionally we have done some targeted normalization of hip fires red amounts. Then the supply drops, um, create weapon drops since we are exchanging a shotgun with a marksman rifle. Now that a good time to rebalance the drop rates of the create weapons, the K bar traveler will spawn less often in the early game and more often in mid game to better accommodate its power. The triple tech will not, will be mostly most common early game and the prowler will begin most prominent in the late game okay and then this is the rotation this is what's coming to the fully kitted they've added the wingman the bowcheck r99 hemlock and sentinel and removed the r301 very very repeater mozambique longbow and spitfire pop-ups this is for the bowcheck the shark caps fire slide toggle between the standard mode and shower mode and Shatter mode, round splits, plus pattern, pattern on fire, and this hop up will enable to a uh, 30 foot repeater and the bow check. Okay, so it's not just for the bow check. Dead eyes tempo firing, the perfect moment increases the fire rate. This can this currently be attached to the sentinel and bow check. Make room, the hammer point and skull, skull piercer hop ups are available, are being <laughs> bolted for now. And won't be available. Assault rifles reduce the headshot multiplier from for assault rifles from 2.0 to 1.75. Five peacekeeper is getting a nerf. Comes with precision choke by default, which can be toggled off. Pellet damage can, is reduced from 10 to 9. Feed chamber time is increased from 0.9 to 1.1. Reload speeds 
uh, from 2.45 to 2.5 emptied from 3.35 to 3.5 the pellet spread increased in general has been changed is actually increased with all charge levels from 0 0.65 0 0.45 0 0.2 to 0 0.85 0.65 and 0.35 if, if that makes sense to you please let me know down below quickly loses charge after ADS and okay, triple tech as a create weapon it will come with 9 ammo clipped and 63 reserve fire rate is increased from 1.2 to 1.3 time to fully charge is reduced from 1.1 to 1 very negligible retains charge Briefly after ADS in move speed, aim down sights is increased to match the marksman rifles faster than the snipers, slower than the ARs. Increased spread will airborne while aiming down. And then the havoc is increased recoil controllability early in the pattern. Spitfires reduced recoil controllability early in the pattern. Then the 30 30 repeater increased leg damage will apply from 0.75 to 0.8. 5. Move speed while aiming down sights has been increased to match the marksman weapons different from the snipers and the ARs. D7 scout. Move speed while aiming down sights has been yep. Then increased hip fire spread. Just accuracy to be more in line with the marksman rifles. The longbow is increased headshot multiplier from 2.0 uh, to 2.15. The wingman increased headshots multiplier from 2.0 to 2.15 as well. Mozambique, the increased maximum magazine capacity from 4.6 at uh, 4 to 2. Increased magazine capacity from 4 to 6. Move the lower two pellets inward the blast pattern. Then the P2020 increased bullet damage from 15 to 18. Lowered fire rate from 8.5 to 6.25. Quite a big difference. Arc stars aim and movements. Aim and movement slow removed from the stick. And then quality of life is some menu changes which the has doesn't really benefit me. I don't really care about that. But I just want to cover the main patch notes. Then we've got pressing and holding F2 in game will bring up the ability description page for your characters. This is only available on PC. Players can now request a better equipment by going in the inventory and pinging the piece of the equipment. Your first challenge reroll of the day is now free. Rerolling your challenges will allow you to choose either from a BR focus challenges or arena focus ones. Color sprays, quips, and remotes can be favorited. Clubs and fights, you can include what you want to play when you send the club invites. Okay, so you can fight them to BR or arenas. A ranked is fixed edges to abandon penalty would be incorrectly applied due to server errors. Flight path adjustments, removing edge dropships, lights, and prevent matches where the large portion of the map received little to no traffic. These screenshots show a before and after comparison and you really okay so it's mainly more in the middle and then the ring updates the fight night update okay ring four precinct from reduced two minutes to 1.45 ring four drink speed reduced from 33 seconds to 40 seconds ring five is from 20 seconds to 40 seconds and ring 6 pre shrink is from 1, 30, 1 minute 30 to 1 minute and then ring 6 uh, shrink speed is reduced from 140 to 2 minutes and some bug fixes for blood, bloodhound the tactical user interface is not shown while in bloodhound's ultimate pathfinders traps and jump pads are no longer Able to float while in the sky next to a sap line, zip line, wraith, light wall bumps no longer and evidently cancel wraith's tactical. Mirage decoys no longer die after tick of thermite damage. Octane ordinances no longer get stuck or disappear when binding off jump pads. Death totems are no longer binds on the jump pads. 
players will no longer have weapons drawn if they get knocked as they enter fight night ring via the jump pad. Update obtains helicopter remote to correctly remove his leg for which is said to helicoptering and then Watson's fixed the extent prompts from Watson's fences to appearing in certain situations. Huge group skin is no longer a block view when reloading the Sentinel Luba where areas where Luba's bracelets fails, red handed skin on consoles will now promptly animate from part while respawn begins now proper collision with amped cover, then jumping on and off the damage healer will no longer transfer the plane effect on your weapon. Horizon no longer weapons drawn if you're not in the night ring, okay. One times hollow sight will no longer block if you have certain skins. Uh fixed with the newt not getting refunded, okay. Use the hollow sight getting blocked with skins. Part of the iron sights will not display it over a whole weapon. Supply drops are now toggle fire modes. Sentinel mood tips pop icons. Fix the graphic issue with it popping to Sentinel and miss whatever is fixed. The menu issue, the advanced looking options hidden. Surely, uh, survey beacons will now appear on the map with teammates respond. And that's everything. That's quite a big update, guys. If you did make it this far to the video, I do appreciate it. I probably did ramble on and mumble a lot. But let me know down below what you think of this update. If you're hyped for it, hit that like button. I appreciate it. Anyway, guys, have a good one. Peace.